Now, the uh, next thing you might want to do uh, to make the game more challenging is to introduce a bad guy. Now, you could do this by um, painting a new sprite, just like you uh, did by creating the Pac-Man. Uh, I'm going to save a bit of time now, and I'm going to choose a sprite from the file. And I can choose any of the characters, any of the folders, and there's lots of different uh, characters that you can choose. Uh, I'm going to go with this dragon, I think. And um, first thing I'm going to do is shrink him down so that he fits into the maze a little bit better. And then I'm going to decide on my starting points, maybe up in this top corner, like so. Now I want the dragon to move around the maze automatically. Um, so I'm going to use, in the motion section, this glide to, um, and then an X and a Y coordinate. The X and the Y coordinates, you can see... Um, or at the bottom right hand part of the map you can see it says th minus 1052 by uh, 188 and that's the point of my cursor at this point in time and you can see that that will change if you move around the maze so the bottom right hand corner is 202 to minus 144 and that's important because we can work out then where the dragon is going to go so, to start off with, I'm going to click on the control options and I'm going to say when the green flag is clicked. And then it's just a case of building up where you want the dragon to go. So to start off with, I want him moving from this top right hand corner to currently where Pac-Man is. And you can see if I just move my mouse pointer to where I want it to go, the X and the Y coordinates read... Uh, about 200 to 145, or 201 to 144. Now, I'm going to choose the glide option, like so, and I'm going to change those coordinates to 200 by 145, like so. And if I just play the game now, you can see that the dragon moves uh, quite quickly. So if I change the number of seconds, He's going to um, he's going to change. There we go. The speed that he goes at, like so. So it'll take twice as long to get there now. Obviously, the quicker the dragon goes, the more challenging the game will be. Now, um, one thing that I've forgotten to put in is every time I'm starting the game, I'm having to drag the dragon uh, back to this corner, and um, so. Before I put in this glide option, I'm actually going to put in a go to command. And what that will do is it will mean every time the game has started, he'll always start from the same point. So the dragon is it's about a minus 200 by 140. So minus 200 by 140. And now when I put this jigsaw together, you can see that every single time, the dragon will always start from the same place without me having to drag him across. Now as you can see, I've uh, come up with a, a, a list of instructions now. Um, it starts in the top left corner, and if we play the game you can see that it'll go through the maze, um, and it'll go down different paths, and each instruction tells him to go to a different point. Um, the only thing that you'd need to really make sure that you do do is always start and end at the same point. Because at the minute, after the first time round, he stops. But now, if I always start and end at the same point, I could put in a forever loop, which basically means keep repeating these instructions forever. So now this time, he will go round a second and a third time. 